In this video we're going to talk about um, increasing and decreasing functions and interval notation. So this is section 1.5 and we'll call this example 1. Alright, so I ha have a, <coughs> excuse me, a part of a graph right here. Um, it's a parabola and I've chosen to start it at 0 and end it at 3. You'll notice there's a closed circle over here on the left and there's an open circle here on the right. So this is an example of an increasing function. And the way to think of an increasing function is, I'm just going to resketch it over here. Okay, so here's my parabola, part of my parabola. Okay, so the way to think of this is on the x-axis as x increases, in other words, goes to the right, the y or the f of x, as we've been calling it, also increases. So as x moves to the right, the y value goes up and also increases. And um, I like to think of this, uh, this increasing and decreasing functions as a roller coaster. So if I'm on a roller coaster right here, okay, and as I'm moving uh, in the positive direction for x, I am increasing in the positive direction for y. So I think of that as an increasing function. Now let's talk about a decreasing function. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, yep, and I'll put a new one on here. Okay, so I'm going to close this one and open up a different one. Um, so this is an, uh, an example of a decreasing function. And the same idea that we talked about with the roller coaster. Um, oops, let's get rid of that. Let's move it over here a little bit. So here I am on the roller coaster. Okay, and as I increase in the x direction, I am decreasing in the y or the f of x direction. So that's an example of a decreasing function. So now let's talk about interval notation, and we might as well do this one first while we have this one up here. So this particular example, um, this piece of the parabola is only going from negative 3 to 0, and this is on the x axis. So for interval notation I'm only concerned um, with increasing and decreasing functions on the x axis. So this one starts at negative 3 and it goes to 0. Now notice you have an open circle here and a closed circle here. Where you have a closed circle that means it includes that point. Where you have an open circle that means it does not include that point. So if it doesn't include the point, I put a parenthesis. If it does include the point, I put a bracket. So now let's go back to the one that we had before. Get rid of that one. And we'll close this one. Delete note. Yes, I'm sure. Put a new page up here. Okay. So on this increasing function, uh, if I want to describe the interval on which it's increasing, well, it starts at zero and it goes up to positive 3. And I have a closed circle here at 0, so that side gets a bracket. I have an open circle here at 3, so that side gets a parenthesis. And that is the increasing function on the interval from 0 to 3. So now let's talk about a different kind of function in which yes. Okay, that's a lot easier than erasing. I like that. Um, so let's talk about a new function here that's got lots of stuff going on. First of all, we have arrows on the end. That means it continues on to infinity. And then you'll notice that we have a decreasing piece, we have an increasing piece, and we have a decreasing piece. So one piece of it is increasing, two pieces of it are decreasing. Again, think of yourself on the roller coaster. Here I'm decreasing until I get to negative 2, and then I increase until I get to positive 2, and then I decrease all the way to infinity. So let's write the interval notation for the increasing part. And we'll do that first just because there's only one of them. And again, I'm concerned with values on the x axis. So where is it increasing from? 
Well, it starts increasing at negative 2, and it ends increasing at positive 2. Well, now you don't have an open circle, closed circle, so how to make that decision? Well, it goes all the way to, uh, to point uh, 2, x is 2, um, we'll talk a little bit about that in a second here. So it includes that point. It starts exactly at negative 2, so it includes that point. So I'm going to put brackets on those. And I'm going to come back um, when I'm done with decreasing, and I'll talk about that in just a second. So now let's do the decreasing. So there's two parts at which it's decreasing. So way over here, you know how this continues way up and up and up? Well, that means the x value goes on forever to the left. And when it goes on forever to the left, we call that negative infinity. So way out here at negative infinity, it starts decreasing, and it ends its decrease at negative 2. Well, it stops decreasing exactly at negative 2, so we're going to include that with a bracket. But it never really starts at negative infinity because that's just a... Uh, uh, and not an absolute point. Um, there's always something beyond that, you know. So we're going to put a bracket around there because you can't ever quite capture infinity. So that's the left-hand side of the decrease. Now let's talk about the right-hand side. So it starts decreasing right here at 2, and then it continues decreasing way down here as x goes to the right and gets greater and greater and greater and greater, it's still decreasing. So when x is get, getting greater and greater and greater, we're going to call that infinity. I'm going to put a bracket around 2 because it includes 2, and a parenthesis around infinity because you never quite capture that. So you see how there's two pieces that's decreasing? You just simply put a little u in between. And the way we say this is the function is decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to 2 and on the interval from 2 to infinity. Alright, so what about this bracket thing right here? How can I have a bracket here, and how can I have a bracket here? And if you read in your text, it talks um, specifically about this. Um, if you are exactly at this point right here, like, let's say you're on the roller coaster and the roller coaster stops right here with you at the top, well you are at, at this point neither increasing nor decreasing kind of like you're just a standstill there, but if you think about just the moment before you stopped increasing, you were at 2. And then the moment you start decreasing, you're also at 2. So when we talk about the interval on which something is increasing or decreasing, we include the endpoint of something like this. So that's why both of those have brackets, um, even though a function neither increases or decreases at now for a good reference here, in your text on page uh, 58, I believe it is, there's a really great chart and it's in yellow and it shows all about uh, interval notation versus inequality. It will help you figure out when to use brackets and when to use parentheses um, and hopefully you'll be able to figure some of that out.